Hey everyone, it's Steve Harris with Muse Themes. We just released a new widget called our Pop-Up Windows widget, and I'll give you a quick run through on how it works here using our Megaband template. So if you scroll down to this link that says click to visit us in the studio, and you click on it, you can see that Google Maps opens up in this nice small window. And so that's what this widget does is it controls the size of that window and allows you to point that window to any link that you want on the web. So we'll go into Muse and I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to delete out the existing link that's there. And on the right side, let's just scroll down to our pop-up windows widget in the toolbox and drag it out onto the canvas. Once you've done that, uh, I'm just going to size this a little bit bigger so that we've got some room to work. And we'll go ahead and set some options. So if we bring up the options flyout, and let me close this so that you can see it a little bit better. The first thing that we need to set is the text link. So this is what's actually going to show up in that box in Muse. So right now it says text link goes here, but we could put what we had before, which was click here to visit us in the studio. There. Okay, so the next option we need to change is where it says page to display in pop-up. This is the actual link to the page that you want to appear in that small pop-up window. By default, we have it set at musethemes.com, but what I did is I just went to Google Maps and I took this map of San Francisco, and all you need to do is just copy the link, go back to Muse, and let's just paste the link into this box. There, and hit enter. Okay, so then the next two options we have are the actual size of that pop-up window. By default right now it's set to 1000 pixels wide by 500 pixels high, but you might want to try a more narrow width with a little bit of a taller height. That's a little bit more common. So let's go 400 pixels wide by 700 pixels high. Now we have a couple of checkboxes here for hiding and showing various items on the actual browser window. So the toolbar, the menu bar, and the scroll bar. Now be forewarned on these options that they are very browser specific. So even though we can basically code into this widget to hide the scroll bar, certain browsers restrict you from doing so and you're going to see a scroll bar anyway. So just bear in mind that it all depends on what browser your visitor is using. The last option that we can set here is this distance from top and distance from left. And this is a pretty unique feature in that you can actually control where the pop-up will appear on the visitor's screen. So let's preview this right now and see how it looks. If we go file and preview in browser, we'll scroll down to the link and if we click this link here, our Google Maps is going to pop up in that small window. But you can see where it's kind of sitting here. It's off to the left side. It's not in the best spot. So let's say we wanted to center that more. If we go back to Muse and bring up the options flyout again, let's change the distance from the left and let's set that to about 500. Okay, and we'll preview that in the browser again. And now if we click on the link, the pop-up opens almost perfectly centered on my screen. This is going to vary again based on the user or visitor's browser size, screen size, resolution, that sort of thing, but it's a better way for you to control where that pop-up expands. The last thing that you need to note is how to actually style this text. It is real text in Muse, even though you've put it in using the options fly out here. So in order to style it, you do it the exact same way you would any text, just using the text options here. So let's change this to Source Sans Pro, and let's go with that one. Let's set our size much bigger. We'll go with, say, 36. And you can see that Muse just regenerates a new preview. The last thing you need to be aware of is that this is a hyperlink, so it's going to inherit the hyperlink styles that you have defined in this hyperlinks dropdown. So if we click the hyperlinks drop down and then edit link styles. Whatever you're setting in here is actually how that link is going to function. So right now it's set to turn gray on a hover with an underline, that sort of thing. You may want to create a new hyperlink style specifically for this button, but that's up to you. Let's preview that one more time in the browser. Click on the link and you can see that the hover link style is applied and we got our pop-up window appearing right in the middle of the screen. So that's it. That's the pop-up Windows widget, and we hope you enjoy it. If you have any trouble with it, as always, send us a note to support at musethemes.com. Thanks again.